fine okay right now i'm going to tell you whether this iphone 4s is still usable in 2017 or not okay let's go straight um before i tell you uh, is it still worth it or not you need to consider um what kind of smartphones that you would like to buy I mean in terms of specifications yes everyone have their own preference in terms of choosing their own smartphone before they buy so let's go straight okay first um, the first thing that you need to consider is for someone who likes to do a lot of multitasking uh, on their smartphone okay I have to tell you the truth this um, smartphone uh, is not suitable for you because it only have uh, 512 RAM and also yeah the old CPU set so I'm sorry for that okay so for someone who likes um, performance uh, gaming and also a editing video um I have to tell you the truth this one is still quite good it's doing its job um, yeah pretty 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 good actually okay thirdly for someone who likes to own a bigger screen I'm sorry this smartphone is not for you um, because this one as you can see here is very small the size of my palm okay um, lastly okay lastly this is very nice if you are someone who likes to take a photo or capturing a video this one is really really recommended yes because the camera is not that outdated because right now on 2017 people are still using um, 8 megapixels camera and above there is still someone who use 5 megapixels but this one is 8 megapixels which the quality is really really great right now I'm recording this video using my <coughs> or using another of my iPhones iPhone 4s as you can see here you can see me there you go uh, this casing is lunatic tactic that I used to wrap up my iPhone 4s um, you can see on my previous video on my YouTube channel okay so right now you are watching the, the quality of the video you are watching right now is from my iPhone 4s which is pretty good uh, you can see when I try to focus you can see the detail over there or even for example this hole you can see there it's very clear okay so um, let's go one straight yeah there you go <coughs> so <coughs> um, well basically let's open the camera yes so this 8 megapixels camera is quite good I, I have to tell you the truth um, its quality is pretty impressive uh, so it's have a square panorama video okay the video and also time-lapse it also have a flash okay so um, I often edit my video using splice app on my iPhone so if I just want to make a quick editing video editing uh, on my smartphone I just use that application uh, so is it still worth it is it still usable in 2017 I can say yes uh, for someone who likes to consider um, having a good quality of photo and video but if they don't mind to have a small screen yeah I guess it's really really still usable on 2017 I think that's it thank you for watching my video if you enjoy my watching my video please leave a like a comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching guys